Hi, welcome to Pulse Larson Antenna's Tech Talk Table. Today we're going to talk about animal mounts. We offer four configurations of the animal mount. The four configurations, along with a number of different cable types, a lot of different connectors you can install on this, offer you a wide variety of installation options. First we'll talk about our standard animo mount. It's it's uh, it works with RG58 cable, LMR195, and also with LMR200. It it uh, works in metal thicknesses from a range of 30 thousandths to 100 thousandths. But we've got you covered if you've got thicker metal, because we can also install what we call our mid mount. You can you can buy one of these, and it'll it's good for up to 232 thousandths, still down to 30 thousandths in thickness. You can also buy what we call our thick mount which is good up to a half an inch of thick metal to, for installation. All of them have the same features except for just, uh, just different metal thicknesses that you can install them, metal or whatever the material is that you're installing them in. We also offer a configuration it's just like our, our standard configuration, but it's slightly larger diameter for the cable, so it'll work for LMR240. This is a new addition to our series. You'll see on this sample that there's a connector installed on this. We call this the FME connector. It's got a great feature in that it's a very small diameter, so we can install this on the cable for you. You don't have to do a connector installation, and because of the small diameter, it's easy to feed through tight areas when you're installing the cable and the, the mount for a radio application. The, the reason that you don't have to install a connector is because there's quite a few different adapters that will connect to this FME connector. We have, for instance, here's an end connector that will plug right into this. So if you have an end connector termination, um, you've, got it, you've got it made by just getting the end adapter for this FME connector. We offer the FME adapters in UHF, in mini UHF and BNC and TNC, like I said, the end connector, also an SMA connector in the plug and the jack configuration. Let's talk about installation. We couldn't get the big vehicle in here, so we're going to use our compact model. Bet you guys wish you had one of these. For installation in an auto body, you can install it on a rooftop, on a trunk, on or fenders. The t rooftop is most common. Uh, you'll want to put a three-quarter inch hole in for the, any of these antenna mounts. The three-quarter inch hole is an easy, easy to do with our hole saw blade that we also sell. The cool feature about this hole saw blade is it doesn't go very deep, so when you screw into the top of the vehicle, you're not going to get into that headliner. Installation involves removing the locking nut. And all, most of the assembly can be done from the top. You can feed it in through the three-quarter inch hole uh, underneath the headliner and down the door post and in, into the dash area where you can connect it to your radio. I'm gonna, for this example, I'm going to keep the FME connector sticking out here. The, the antenna will slip in, like I said, from the outside. It will fit into the three-quarter inch hole, then install the locking nut, but don't tighten it yet. Just get it down there where things still move around and then use the locking nut to hold them out while you find the three quarter inch hole and then go ahead and tighten it up, centered in the hole. The bottom half of the mount will, has a feature that will center right in that hole. So once you have the mount installed, you're ready to use it for, as is, for quite a few low frequency applications from 27 megahertz up to about a gig. Uh, we've got quite a few different antennas. I've got a few of them here. Here's a UHF wideband. When you're using our, our NMO mount, we have a super seal gasket that'll go on with it. When you install it on the auto body, you got a good seal for, for uh, weather conditions. Also for car washes, you get a good seal to keep the water from getting inside there and messing up the, uh, the electrical integrity. We also offer, like I said, we offer quite a few antennas. 3db 900 megahertz antenna quite a few different low profile configurations of course this is going to fit better on your vehicle than it is going to be on our test sample here now 
These are low frequency, up to uh, typically up to 900 megahertz. It's and so if you want to go over one gig, then you're going to want to reconfigure this for a high frequency application. Now that's not hard to do. Now you can use, you can grab this and pull it out, but the contacts are pretty tight because we want it, that electrical integrity. So sometimes it's helpful to just grab your pocket knife and you can get that in under the contact and slip it out of there pretty easily. Pull the, the insulator out and now you are ready for a high frequency application. You can look inside of these two low profile antennas that will screw onto this mount and you see they, they don't look the same as our standard animal mounts with the spring tab. They've got that high frequency center contact. They'll also screw on with the super seal gasket, wherever I put that, oh, I left it on here. They'll also fit on there with the super seal gasket, just like the, the other products do. We offer quite a few different high frequency antennas. You see our low profile series. We've got one at low profile we call the ice fin. Um, we also have this in black and in white. We also offer some like 5 dB antennas, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, elevated feed, 4.9 gigahertz. Quite a few different uh, antennas that you can install on these mounts. So thank you for joining me for Tech Talk. Uh, we'll see you next time. We'll look at some other products.